Good morning, everyone. So today I decided, since I'm leaving um, for vacation soon, to inspect some of my incubators. So I'm just going to bring them out one by one. So for here, this one, I'm seeing a lot of roots coming out. And instead of burying them one by one, uh, <clears throat> I'm also going to take my forceps and remove some of these fuzzy ones. See that? That's very dangerous. It means that there's mold starting to grow in there and we don't want that. And what happened there is these are the plants that didn't make um, propagation. So it's going to happen. Not all your leaves are going to propagate. And I love these forceps. <clears throat> Because it allows me to freely open and close the um, the tongs. I don't know about this one. This one seems like not sure if this is gonna have any roots. Yeah, so I'm just gonna discard this because I know pretty soon this is going to become fuzzy too. Ooh. There's one right there. Yuck. What happened here? Oh, this is um, one of those plants that I just stuck in there. Didn't root up. Look, so now it's just rotting. Here's the Senecio. Looks like it's still going. So I'm just going to leave this one right here. The Senecio, the um, string of pearls. Look, it's having little babies coming out. This guy right here is rooting up. So I'm going to move him here, right side up. And then I'm just going to cover. These guys right here are so small that I don't even know. They might live. You never know. This guy right here. Uh, yep, there's roots there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my trusty old scooper and I'm going to just lightly cover all those roots just so they're not exposed too much. Because if that's exposed sometimes with the spritzing, they they rot. The roots rot, so we don't want that to happen. And they're going to be okay. They're going to figure things out and um, come out. The plants will come out. So it's just lightly. And this one, I don't want this covered too much. I like this plant right here. This is this is a, a trailing plant. And there's roots there, so I'm just going to leave him be. And then I'm going to um, cover it up. I'm going to spritz it on Monday because that's when I water everybody. And just kind of bury. Yeah, we're good. This one's good. I'm not going to bury this one because that's trailing. This one right here. Okay, so next one. My next trick is this guy right here. This is, these are jelly beans. They're getting leggy. They're growing long. Pretty soon they're going to start hitting the the roof of the incubator so um i'm just gonna go ahead and when they do that that's the time to just leave the top the cover off because they're now growing into more mature plants but i'm co i'm covering 
their legs because they're very still very skinny. And just inspect everything. These are the ones that are the pinkish, the pinkish ones. Um, see here, there's an intruder right there. That's a weed. So I'm just gonna look around, make sure everybody's comfy cozy. These are these ones are going to outgrow their incubators, so but they can still stay here for about a week. Just fine, no problem. The kids must be in school today because I don't hear any noises, any yelling. So they must be in school. perfect time to make a video so here see they're coming along and this is what um, I think this has only been a month and these jelly beans are pretty they fall off their the stems so quickly but I they propagate so fast too Okay, these guys have been in there for a while. These are the more hardy ones. I, I think this is a, I think this is a black prince right here. This I know is that wonderful Echeveria I just got. Malaco or something like that. So, so far everything in here is still okay. I don't know why my dogs are screaming. Must be an ambulance or something. Okay, so I have like these dried leaves that I need to get rid of. Ah, Mr. Fuzzy over here did not make it. They did not make the cut. So they're trash. Why? Because if you don't get rid of those, it's going to spread fungus. Again, my forcep, five bucks on, on Amazon. I'll have a link for you. Um, oh, look at this one. This one, this one has a plant right there. So um, that's dying. What about this guy? This guy's not doing jack. So throw away. So yeah, my trusty old scoop, scoop. I'm just gonna add some because what's gonna happen is that's gonna die and it's going to detach from the new plant. And then the new plant is just sitting there with nothing. So sometimes it takes forever for the roots to come out. So there, so there's some roots right there that I saw. Oh, that pink one right there. So I'm going to bury that because when I spritz it, I don't want that to get too wet. This guy right here, whoa. I'm just gonna stand it up a little bit. And I will cover as much of the root as I can. but not too much of the plant so that's kind of tricky right here ah see 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 oopsie I'll just take my little brush and just brush some of that off And then this guy right here also needs, what's this? A bit of... Soil 
right there. Just cover it up a little bit so it's not so exposed. Um, and they should be fine. There's some roots there. Some roots here. And those jelly beans, they're they're pretty hardy, so I'm not too worried about them. This guy right here, is there. Yep, not doing anything. See, that's the pagoda, I think. This one's not doing much, but I'm gonna leave them there just because it might take a while for some things. Look at this. This is the same thing. Ah! Oh no. Yeah, this pagoda not doing well. The other one is trying to hang on to me for some reason. So I'm gonna flip it over and rebury. I also want to do the other side because that keeps them more anchored if you do both sides. And at the same time, kill two birds with one stone. Got that covered. Oop. And gotta release this guy right here. And I'm done. The cover back come, goes back on. It's not the real cover, but it's okay. So I'm going to do the same for every single one of these. It is a full-time job, but it's better than spending a whole lot of money on new plants. You probably have like $200 worth of plants, maybe even more. And it's, all it is is a little bit of elbow grease and some time. That's okay. We're fine. Doing all the same things to these guys right here. And that's it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment on the bottom. Questions are always welcome. And have a great day. Bye.